Hey everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. Last time we arrived at Blighted Village and we explored it for a bit. We mainly explored this well and let me just say it didn't go well. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's continue exploring this village and see what else we can do. Um, I do believe, according to you guys, we can actually lockpick this lock chest if we use... Um, Astarion, and um, I believe what I need to do is, there we go, just lockpick <laughs> command, Easy. and then, okay, we gotta roll the dice, and also, I can add a bonus, yeah, I need to be a bit more thorough when I play the game, I think I'm just excited and I'm kind of breezing through, but I'm definitely gonna try to take my time uh, as we play along, so please bear with me, the more I play this game, the more I familiarize myself with it, and there we go, we got a success, nice, let's see what's inside this. Um, so a haste helm and some gold. Not bad. Okay. So yeah, I definitely need to make sure I, you know, look at all of the options I have and not just kind of rush things. So, uh, yeah, again, as I play the game, I'll get more and more used to it. Soon it will become second nature, uh, cause I'm only playing this game, you know, in these videos with you guys. So in general, I'm you know, still just kind of trying to get it down. But again, I really do appreciate all of the advice and comments you guys are leaving. I'm gonna make sure to actually take them into account. So, um, I do believe we also didn't pick up the, you know, sack or bag or whatever that that um, deep uh, gnome left behind. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can find it. So let's just look for that. Uh, let's double check the wooden hatch. I did check it out last time, but maybe I didn't get everything within here. Alright, this is something I need to do more often, and that is use the cursor, because, yeah, using the cursor, I actually noticed something I didn't originally spot, uh, when coming down here, and that is a heavy backpack, which, if I do remember, the gnome literally said that his backpack was heavy. So this has to be what he was talking about. Um, so there we go. Yeah, um, because yeah, just coming up to the wooden trunk, I didn't know I could actually interact with the backpack on top of it. So there we go. We found it. And I'm definitely going to make sure to utilize the cursor a lot more often when it comes to interacting with stuff. But okay, now with that done, let's continue exploring Blighted Village and see what else we can find throughout here. And actually, before I even do that, I do believe a lot of you guys also mentioned that I should short rest uh, as much as I can. I shouldn't be stinky with it at least, uh, because it is very beneficial. I mean, it literally heals us up and everything. And also, long resting is important. As a lot of you guys said, it helps progress the story, which I will do. But I guess I'll do that after certain checkpoints or, you know, after I made a decent amount of progress. Uh, but yeah, let's just continue and check out what else we can do. Oh, a sleeping scrawny bugbear. Um, we can attack it, but if we do, I wonder what would happen. Um, I mean, nobody else is around here. This might be a easy chance to get some damage. You know what? Let's do it. Oh God. Okay. We got a critical hit. Now let's finish it off. Come on, Astaria. Nice. There we go. And hopefully doesn't alert any of the goblins here. I guess we're good. <laughs> I mean, because technically, even though we're friendly with them, we're not really friendly. We're just here to, you know, explore and, I mean, eventually, we're going to want to wipe them out, right? Uh, right now, we're just not strong enough. So, let's see what else we can find throughout this village before we do leave. And I wonder, when we do leave, will we have to either take them on or deceive them again? Or will we be allowed to come back whenever we want? I'm not entirely sure. So, I want to make sure I make the most of my trip here and oh god I think something is trying to break out of that uh As you approach a guttural scream and a succession of quick I don't want to mess around with the it then a low moan huh? someone or something is having a bit of fun. what <laughs> really I mean that sounds like some intensive stuff going on in there I mean they're not smashing the door, they're, they're smashing, I guess, so, uh, sh should I open the door? I don't know if I want to even see that. Let's just, you know, you know what? I'm curious. I, I gotta see. Leave it. Oh. 
Whoever's inside doesn't want an audience. <laughs> and I don't want to fight. <laughs> okay, you, maybe Shadowheart is onto something. But, you know, let me just say hello, I guess. Anybody in there? Go oh. Away! Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll take the message. You... You have fun in there, I guess. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I literally thought someone was trying to break out. I was actually, like, startled. I'm like, oh, no, we're going to have to fight some kind of giant ogre or something. But, uh, anyways, what is up there? Looks like someone is roasting something. Let's check this out. Okay, roasted meat. Nice. Let's, let's pick it up. <gasps> Yo, that's a nice-looking You notice dagger. a peculiar dagger protruding from the tough, leathery meat. I, I kind of want it. Uh, let's let's pull it out with all our might. Um, okay, and let's make sure we use the bonus. And let's roll the dice. Come on, nice. Plus three strength as well. I guess that's good because our character is a strength character, so I should do, um, you know, that. And hopefully, what will happen? I mean, is it really that hard to pull out? <laughs> what is this like a sacred blade? You yank the dagger free, oh. leaving a narrow slit behind. Oh, okay. Nice. I wonder if that dagger is uh, any useful for one of our characters. So we received a dagger plus one. Let me actually check. So, all right, it doesn't do more damage than the great sword, but uh, it seems uncommon, which I guess is a good thing. Um, I do believe Astarian could probably make use of it as he literally has a dagger equipped. So let's give him this one then instead. There we go. That might be beneficial for him. So, okay. And now let's swap Isn't back and blood. let's pick up this other shovel. No. Now I'm finding so many shovels. <laughs> I definitely need to put them to use. I guess maybe they have durability and it can eventually break. We'll see. But okay, let's just get away from there and continue exploring and see what else we can find. Oh, it saved. Something important might be ahead. Um, you know, let me just look around before I continue down that pathway there. What's over here? Oh, okay. There was nothing in this direction. It just takes us back inside the village where the windmill is. But what's this? Oh, a mysterious hole. Oh. Someone just decided to put a bunch of stuff within it. Not bad. Okay, at least we found something. Uh, let's see what else we can find. So this direction will clearly take us out of the village. And Huh? Oh. What the hell? That appeared out of nowhere. Is that the survival check? So someone has to actually succeed that and if they do uh you should dirt mound appears out of nowhere that's weird okay well at least we have it so let's go ahead and now use our shovel since we finally have one and oh, a chest is underneath it nice um wait is that it can i okay there we go open it up okay sweet we got some stuff at least that was worth it for sure but that is interesting so wait our Certain things, like, locked from appearing unless you, like, pass some sort of RNG type thing. I guess that might be a Dungeons & Dragons thing. Thing is, again, I don't even play Dungeons & Dragons, you know, the actual game, let alone these games. So, I'm kind of unaware of a lot of things. But, okay, this bridge is broken, though I do believe we can jump. And someone did say if I use the D-pad, right? Oh, yeah, I can immediately jump. Um, but wait, okay. I don't want to go into the forest yet. Let's just keep exploring and see what other secrets we may find. I might actually just uh, loop around the village one last time because I feel like I haven't thoroughly checked it out yet. So let's make sure we've seen everything we can see within Blighted Village before we even consider moving into any other direction outside of it. Oh, wow. Okay, I entered one of these houses and... This looks like it could have been a pretty nice shop. I guess ever since it was raided by the goblins, uh, you know, they probably killed everybody in here. Maybe Blighted Village once looked pretty nice. Uh, let's just pick up everything we can find here. Ooh, a recipe unlocked. And speaking of recipes, this looks like it could have been a recipe as well. Uh, that's kind of cool. All right, let me just grab everything here. You know, no one's... Uh, tending the shop, so you know what? It, it says it's for everyone. <laughs> Screw it. <laughs> oh, and search the cellar. Oh. 
Okay, I believe I was clicking A too fast, and we picked up this notebook from the counter, which mentioned something about a cellar. The ledger is filled with cultivation instructions for a range of medical plans. One entry is underlined, deliver specially requested plans to the cellar. Keep away from prying eyes. Okay, um, so yeah, like uh, Astarian probably was saying, I don't see a cellar. Is this it? Oh, there's a wooden hatch here. That must be it. Okay, let's check that out. But let me make sure I grabbed everything else that I can grab. Oh, okay, there's a skull. I guess I'll take that as well. But okay, let's just go ahead and check out what's uh, underneath here. <gasps> oh, okay, this is the cellar. Nice. So um, let's see what else we can find here. This is pretty nice looking. Oh, what's that? A perception check. What are they looking at? Well, I definitely failed that perception check because I don't even know what they're staring at. Okay, there's a pile of books. Let's take them all, I guess. <laughs> Let's grab this broom. I guess we can clean stuff with it. Tiger mist? What is this painting about? <gasps> I could just take it? Okay. Huh. I don't know exactly what they were noticing because I didn't notice it. But, okay. Let's just keep exploring. All right, just gonna grab everything on here. Ooh, a healer's log. All right, I guess this is just notes of their patients and their ailments. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll take it, why not? It might be useful. <laughs> nice, we're finding a lot of potions, which I can definitely use. Valley with Brook, I'm gonna take that, why not? Oh, okay, I just realized what stacks and piles of books mean, I guess. When you click it, then you can interact with books that would be in it, but there's nothing in it, so I can't actually pick it up, so that makes sense. Okay, more potions of healing, nice. Um, I think I grabbed everything I can grab within this cellar. I definitely didn't notice what they noticed earlier, but okay, I mean, I don't know what else I can do, so let's just leave it for now. I mean, maybe we'll come back to it as well if I did miss anything important. Okay, doesn't seem like there's much else uh, throughout here. Let's uh, just keep exploring then. I don't want to mess with these ogres again, but we're noticing something interesting. Oh, cracked support beam? What if I hit it? Alright, logically thinking about it, even if I were to destroy this cracked support beam, there's no way these wooden planks would, whoa, kill those ogres, right? And I don't want to fight them, so... You know what, I'm just gonna come by and let me pick up this body here. Yeah, let's just loot it real quick. Yeah, don't eat the gold that was on her, thank you. Anyways, I'm just gonna leave you guys, because I don't want to fight him. I, I doubt I'm strong enough, and I, either way, I actually don't want to mess with them. Let's just loot the dead and, and mess with those instead. But okay, actually, I just realized we are leaving. Where are we heading to? South? Um, or I could be going north, which, uh, is where we found that broken bridge over here, yeah. Um, you know, let's explore it south for a bit, I guess, why not, since we're here, and see what we can find. Again, we can always teleport back to, uh, Blighted Village, because we found that waypoint, so. I guess I will just kind of walk around a bit and continue exploring, because I have no idea, um where I want to go. I know our goal is to the goblins. We got to defeat them, but I don't know if I want to rush there because I probably won't be ready for that either. I definitely want to familiarize myself with the game. So if anything, I should stay away from this direction. Let's, uh, let's look elsewhere and see what else we can find. All right, let's head down this pathway here in the forest. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Enough. Oh, there we go. We know you have There's some people. Please. Hey, what's up? Just so we're in sunlit wetlands. Lads, for the oh. love of all that is holy, I believe they're I've never from the clapped Emerald eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Stop this. We we won't ask again. Oh, okay. Uh, just calm down. What's going on here? Careful. Don't trust a word out of her mouth. Our sister went to the hag, and we ain't seen her since. Hand over heart, I don't know their sister. 
I will gladly help you all look for her, though. Enough. Where is she? I recognize the, you know, Auntie Ethel from uh, the Emerald Grove, I believe. All right, while we're here, let's just speak to some other NPCs and... Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. Thank goodness you came along when you... Oh. There isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Pickle. Are you harsh, cold, feverish? Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. But I don't know if she's good or bad, to be honest. So, what did you do with the sister? Bollocks! Oh. You were supposed to rush to my defense, love. Fat lot of good you are. Okay. Some advice? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. Bye-bye now. Whoa! Bloody hells. She just disappeared. Ain't seen nothing like that before. She could shoot fireworks out of her backside for all I care. The hag has bring her. Okay, so tell me what's going on. It's our sister, Marina. She's... Well... She was in a bad way after her husband died. Started saying weird things, like how she was gonna bring him back. Next thing, she's gone looking for the hag. Of all the stupid things to do. And we haven't seen her since. And no good ever came from dealing with a hag. None of this matters, all right? We need to get her back and fast. Um, okay, I'll help. Are you joking? I ain't got a clue who you are. No way I'm leaving Rena to you. But, Joel. Not a chance. We're getting her back on our own. Now, come on. All right, well, I just want to lend a helping hand, but screw you guys. So, I, yeah, I mean, I kind of brushed past the hag in um, the Emerald Grove, and I didn't know she was evil. I think she wanted to sell me potions or something. I don't remember exactly, because I didn't take much of it. Um, so, it comes out she is evil, I guess, or, I don't know, maybe hags have magical powers. I have no clue, but she definitely didn't seem like she's up to any good, so I'm going to have to keep that in mind okay i'm oh encumbered so let's um let's send stuff back to the the main you know camp i guess let me figure out how to do that okay there you go let's multi-select a bunch of stuff we're not gonna use okay that will do for now now let's go ahead and do actions and okay yeah send to camp sweet there we go that's actually so convenient um yeah, that's really nice. So I don't actually have to go back to camp. I guess we could technically teleport back to camp if we long rest, I believe. Or no, go to camp. There we go. So I guess long rest doesn't matter where you are. I have no clue. We're going to have to try long rest later. Let's just um, continue exploring. I'll wait until I reach a certain point and then we'll long rest and see what happens. But oh, what's going on here? A chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. I just realized you can swap your character mid cutscene. Will that change the cutscene for the character? Oh, whoops. No, no, no. I didn't mean to do that. Wait. Will it happen to her? Or what's going on? Can I go back to him? Oh, okay. Good. So he just stays there. We can just leave him while he's looking around. So let's look for anything out of the ordinary. Probably his granny. Maybe she's watching over us. Uh, the hag. Uh, let's make sure also we use the added bonus. Okay. Let's roll the dice. Come on. 15, ah, uh, minus one. Uh, I gotta get rid of the bloodless. I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna do that. Someone did say that you could use Shadowheart to use a spell. Uh, I looked around her spells. I didn't find anything that would do the job. Maybe I have to, like, swap her abilities or something. Uh, I definitely look more into that. But okay, we can at least roll again. So let's do that. Hopefully we get lucky the second time. Come on. They say third time's the charm. But hopefully second, it's not. Uh, can we roll a third time so we can have that charm? No. <laughs> okay. You can't do it more than twice in a row, I guess. The place has a quiet sense of calm. You can't see anything strange. Okay. We're just going to have to be fooled by the hag. Or what? I mean, it might not even be that. I don't have no idea what's watching. I said, whoa, what, what, what is that? Oh, it's just a reflection. Mine. Huh? I better be careful not to trigger that thing. What thing? Oh, God. Is there something in the water? But yeah, these, these, these threw me off. 
It seems like there's multiple ones of them. And, oh, what's here? Oh, a spike trap. Can we disarm it? Okay. Oh, no. We got to roll the dice. Okay. I really hope I don't mess up. No, wait. But Okay, we got plus one. Oh, no. Ah, so close. All right, just leave the trap. As long as we don't have to deal with it. Okay, yeah. So I got to make sure I don't mess with that. But, um, yeah, these lights that are reflecting in the water look like Sights of Grace from um, Elden Ring. <laughs> it looks like something a lot more important, but I, I guess it's not. Okay, it's throwing me off. They're all over the place. What the hell? Uh, I guess there must be some deeper meaning. Maybe it is the sunlit wetlands. Oh, is it lit by the sun? I, I, I have no clue. Um, but <laughs> there must be some kind of connection with the name and all these weird sights of grace that are over here, right? Because, <laughs> yeah, this here just looks weird, seeing them reflect in the water. I have a feeling maybe the name does kind of um, refer to that. But okay, let's just continue down to this bridge, see what else we can find. We can't actually pass here? Yeah, okay. Also, whoops, I took off my boots on accident and I guess I never re-equipped them. Let's do that quickly. Ooh, some speedy light feet? Let's try those out. Can I run faster? <laughs> I guess not. I mean, either way, I can't make my way through the water. Okay. Let's see if there's another way around that bridge. What's here? Oh, a camp. Yeah. Looks like we missed all the fun. Okay. Let's use it. Oh, never mind. I, I thought we were going to set up camp here. I guess we can always head back to our own camp if we want, but nice! Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Let's just see what's inside this chest first. Okay, nice. A bunch of stuff. But yeah, clearly there were people here before. We'll just take their loot. Let's see what's inside this backpack. Nice! Some food! Okay. Uh, let's see what's inside this one. Ooh, some scrolls. Oh, okay. We can study them, and I guess we should teach it to um, Gale. All right, we'll look into that later. Let's just go ahead and grab everything else we can grab. I guess we'll move on, see what else we can find here. Okay, what is over here? Nothing? Um, can we walk into this water? Is it shallow enough, or is it too deep? Okay, it looks like... Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Holy crap, that scared the crap out of me. We definitely stepped on a trap. I like how everyone's doing the same animation. Oh no. Okay, will we be fine? Oh no. Okay, we're continuously getting hurt. Looks like one more. Okay. And that should stop the bleeding. Okay. I guess we're better now. <laughs> I like how everyone did the same animation when that happened. But okay. Um... Let's continue exploring. I guess we'll leave the sunlit wetland and continue down here. Um, yeah, why not? Oh, what is it? What's that? Perception check. Oh, okay, another one of these. So yeah, these literally are RNG. It's like you might get it or you might not, um, which is interesting, but okay. I definitely need a rest soon, but whoa! Ooh, okay, I thought that was a blade in Arrow of Ice. Still, pretty cool. A lot of cool stuff. So we got lucky that we were able to actually dig that out. Not bad, not bad. But okay, let's just continue on. And eventually I will rest, but I'm still a bit curious what else we can find as we move along. Okay, well, this is a dead end. Never mind. Anything up here? Okay, we can climb up this. I'm certain of it. Yep, there we go. But this takes us back to where... Oh, I thought we couldn't go down here. So we could have. But yeah, this is at the entrance of the village. So when I saw the fork in the road, I thought this would have been a dead end. But no, you can actually go down. Whoa, what happened? I wonder if we're going to be allowed back into the village. Um, Are we? Okay, we are. Never mind. Okay. Anyways, let's keep exploring, though. I, I don't want to actually make my way back into the village. Oh, there's a loving note here. I didn't notice that the first time. Take a breather, lovelies, and have a bite to eat. On me. And to eat. Oh, wait! She, she might have been good the whole time. Oh, never mind! 
It's rotting. Wait, she was a trickster the whole time. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. Unless, I mean, that was placed a long time ago and it rotted. So it might not be her fault. I'm not entirely sure. And also, can we actually just kill the wildlife? Let's see if I could just attack the sheep. Sheep's oh, voice wobbles. You realize I forgot you could it's talk trying animals. to say ba. <laughs> Should we say ba back or uh, let's just, yeah, reach out for it. Then. Okay. Well, we got to roll for this. So hopefully I get it. Um, Is this guaranteed fail? Oh, never mind. Uh, great. Wheezing. The sheep backs away. Uh, well... I was gonna kill it anyways. Should I just kill it? <laughs> or could this be like a person or someone I could speak to or something, right? Because a lot of you guys did say that you can speak to animals. Uh, okay, these are juicy apples. They're not rotting. Um, you know, I'll leave the sheep. I, I don't need it. I, I got plenty of food. And maybe that sheep will be helpful later on. <gasps> oh, God. I guess they didn't find their sister. They're dead well, already? Did they must have job are you kidding me oh no okay well i'm sorry man. you only had a no wonder you died man are you really gonna protect yourself with the cleaver what the hell they got butchered okay nice and there's a waypoint okay you know what perfect now i'm actually gonna go back to the camp and heal up and then we'll continue on because I was literally waiting to find another waypoint before we made our way back to the camp because yeah We're hurting pretty bad. So oh my god. I just realized how bloody I am. What the hell? I didn't link is looking horrible <laughs> It doesn't show it on the uh, Menu, but damn that looks yeah real bad. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and scratch scratch. I guess What up? Uh, let's just pet him <laughs> I wonder if they can actually help you out in battles or something. That'd be kind of cool. And a lot of you guys said the, the owl bear cub could have been a companion I could have had in the camp. Yeah, I feel bad. I mean, I didn't kill it. It was the siblings of uh, Edwin that killed it. I, I was mainly focusing on the actual owl bear, not the cub. But I mean, I guess I still helped them out. So, okay, everyone is beat up. We, we definitely need to do something about that. Let's see if... Um, Anyone has anything new to say? Not really. I'm thinking we might have Lazelle join us instead of one of them. Uh, because I do like, you know, going in with brute force. So, you know what? Screw it. Gale is positively voracious. Well, let him suck up all the magic he needs. As long as he doesn't snack on a Githyanki <laughs> oh, silver she's, sword. She's also gossiping about him. Nice. <laughs> Um, I want her to join me though. You've no room. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Okay, well then we gotta dismiss Gale. I know Gale might be useful. I mean, he is the wizard of the group, but I might just leave him. What's on your mind? And I want to change things up a bit, so I need you to remain in the camp for the while. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. All right. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll I'll travel be here again. in the meantime. Idling away the hours. Okay, now let's go back and have her join us and see if, um, you know, our Speak. battles are any better. So, I haven't really had her in battle outside of very early on. So, also, you know, let's just ask about her because apparently her race is rare in these parts. I expect I am your first. Uh, yeah, I never really heard about you until my capture. <laughs> I suppose I am as alien to you as you are to me. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. That large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. Is it because you have a small nose? <laughs> yeah, an upturned bat snout is any better. Like, is it? <laughs> I like, you know, I, I, screw it. She kind of deserves it. Better is an opinion, but mine is certainly more economical. Disciplined. Dignified. Okay, anyways, I'd like you to join me. It is done. Alright. <laughs> nice. And let's level her up, actually. Let's make sure we do that. Okay. Uh, now, I wonder if we can pick a second class for a... No, okay. Let's just accept... Oh, we can add class. 
So, what should we do for her? I mean, I think it'd be cool to have her as a barbarian to truly replace Gale, and I feel like barbarian would probably fit her more. Uh, so I might do that. That way, you know, we still have a barbarian with us, but one that probably makes more sense. Let's do that, actually. Okay. And... Yeah, you guys did say I can respec their class and everything for like 100 gold or something. So, if this is a bad choice, let me know. Uh, then I will consider it, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Sweet, she has joined us. Now let's see her weapons and see if we can give her something better. Alright, I don't think so. Uh, let's see if we can give her then at least something else to wear. Oh, a cape. That's kind of cool. You know what? Screw it. We'll give it to her. And why not give her some gloves since she doesn't have any on? Alright, um, let's go ahead and now rest. Because <laughs> Link is not looking too good. So let's make sure we uh, end the day. Uh, and I do have enough supplies, so why not? Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Well, Astarian wants to speak. Hopefully it's not about consuming my blood. Well, I mean, you could just lick me like a dog, right? We are covered in blood. Would, would that be enough? There you are. I was just of thinking course. about you and that delicious moment we shared the other night. <sighs> the moment when you bit me. The very same. I've had this condition for two centuries, but... Truth be told, <clears throat> you're my first. I doubt it. In all these years, I've only ever fed on beasts. Drinking the blood of thinking creatures is a different thing entirely. You were delectable. And now I can't help but wonder how the others taste. <laughs> I like how you could act jealous. Uh, I don't care though. Go for some other necks. It's probably better. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's be logical. Yeah, they probably won't be as open to the idea as I was. Alas, it doesn't hurt to ponder the question, though. Take Gale, for example. He strikes me as someone whose blood is rich, refined, like well-aged brand. <laughs> but the gift? What in the hells would she taste like? Hmm. This seems like a bad idea, letting him taste us because yeah now he wants a taste of everyone <laughs> um let's not really engage that yes heaven forbid we have an interesting conversation <laughs> still i am intrigued by the possibilities obviously i don't want him to kill a party member but yeah maybe some random person we find so many dead people why not feast on them <laughs> No one's getting killed, I swear. We're just two friends talking. So, in the spirit of theoretical questions, if you had to take a bite from one of them, who would it be? Oh no, we're gonna influence his opinion, I'd say. <laughs> you, of course, would probably be a good answer. Because, yeah, I, I don't want him to bother with anyone because uh, it probably would be a bad idea. You know, we don't want bad blood with blood being shed. So, you, of course. Oh. <laughs> I'm flattered. Who knew you had such taste? <laughs> Unfortunately, all this talk is getting me hungry. I better find something I can actually sink my teeth into. I don't like the way he looked at that dog. I, I doubt it. But okay, g good hunting, man. <laughs> There's nothing that tasty lurking out in the woods, but I'll make do. Uh, sweet dreams. Okay. Uh, let's see. Kind of curious if uh, Shadowheart has anything to say. Almost pleasant traveling with company. If you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. You know, we should get to know each other a little more. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? Um, you know, it would be easier if we knew each other as well, because, yeah, she's definitely the most mysterious. Easy is often less interesting. Besides, we've plenty of reason to rely on each other already. You can't confide in just anyone about a monster in your head. Okay, maybe I'd like to get to know you better. Come on. <laughs> Sweet of you, but don't worry. I'm sure you'll get to know me just fine by traveling together. 
No need for interrogations just yet. All right. Uh, if that's what you prefer, I can respect Thank that. Thank you. I'm sure we'll get along perfectly well. Okay. He definitely doesn't want to talk and also I get that animation. Okay, let's just go to bed. Clearly we're her. We shouldn't be like that anymore. Let, let's go to bed. Okay. And, oh yeah, we, we gotta make sure we eat enough stuff. So, there we go. Okay. That way we're not over consuming. That should do it. Wait, what? We're still bleeding. What's going on? How do I fix that? Oh, it's timed, it looks like. Um, well, I don't want to wait for the flesh rot to time out. Um, I'm assuming since Shadowheart is a cleric, she could probably do something about it, but none of these spells seem to be useful. How do I fix this? Because every time it runs out, it just comes back. That's weird. Lesser restoration, cure a creature from disease, poison, paralysis, or blindness. Is this a disease? Is flesh rot a disease? Oh, wait, how do we use it? Okay, we gotta unprepare a spell, and then we can have another spell. Okay, let's see if this works. Wait, what? It's just gone! Wait, what? Okay, well... What do we... I didn't really need to do any of that, but let's see. No, well, let's figure this out. So, it eventually leaves you it can leave you um there's a chance so let's see if this works <gasps> okay finally okay well i guess you could either wait it out or you could just do that so i definitely need to make sure that i have the best spells i can use uh throughout her spell book because yeah that was super useful so let's look for what else that we can use okay looks like some spells you can't actually get rid of um so some you can. So we're going to swap Shield of Faith for Prayer of Healing. I want to keep that with me. So there we go. Yeah. She'll be a healer for the most part. I think that's not bad. Um, but okay. At least we're done with that because that was not good. You know, having to deal with them alive, standing like so that and just generally, you know, rotting their flesh from, I guess, the hag's apples. I'm assuming that's what started it all. I'm not entirely sure. But okay. Now that we're done, let's go ahead and now teleport. I wasted a lot of time just like looking through the menus and trying to figure it out. But I'm glad I did it because I guess I did figure it out even though I really didn't need it because it eventually would have ran out. Regardless, yeah, let's go ahead and now teleport to the Riverside Tea House. I believe that's where we were last. Okay, yeah, it was. And let's see what happened to... Yeah, um... This guy, I mean, <laughs> he was looking for his sister, and I mean, I guess he died. I doubt his sister is doing any better, so let's go this way and see where this leads us. Um, I'm afraid Granny might be nearby, but where's his other brother, I guess? Uh, should we check out these wooden doors? Okay. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, God. <gasps> It is a sister. I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite and this pie is going to come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all, you best have one hells of an apology for me, young man. Okay, so, yeah, I guess we were right with our gut feeling. She, she is literally the one behind what happened to their sister, so. Ah, I do like the mouthy ones. You know, I was going to give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door. But I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. Gods, grant me patience. Eat up. Marina, I won't say it again. Um, so clearly she's pregnant. I, I, I don't know why this old hag cares so much. Maybe she's trying to take care of the baby and then she'll kill her. I have no clue, but, um, uh, should I tell her, I guess, that her brother is dead? 
Keep that hole under your nose shut, or things will get messy. Don't bother. You'd only subject us to her inevitable wailing. <laughs> what is it? What's going on? Okay, I'm just gonna... Yeah, she needs to know. That can't be true. Auntie Ethel. They were being rude, and I detest rudeness. You monster! The deal is off! Enough! Away, would you? <sighs> Whoa! Blessed silence at last. Some time in the cage should do her good. And you... You'll regret sticking your nose in my business. Uh-oh, are we gonna fight her? Oh no. <gasps> Holy crap. Okay, I assumed we weren't gonna fight the old hag just as is. Yeah, she's gonna become something way more menacing. Holy crap. You blink and the wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. Uh oh, okay. She's invisible! Oh no. And she has company. Oh god, okay. All right, we know Granny's standing here, so what was if I throw a grease bottle? See, maybe if I can hit her, even though she is invisible. I think she was here. I don't know, let's just give it a shot. We did hit her, nice! Oh, that actually worked, yo! Okay, now let's go for an actual attack. Now, what happens if I throw a firebolt here? Can I just throw it in a direction even if I can't see her? Will this count? Whoa! And there we go! Actually, oh sweet, we did hit her and we did a lot of damage. Okay, well, not that much, but that, that was actually pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, use Action Surge and deal even more damage on Granny. Um, I guess we can just do a... Let's do another Fireball. Why not? Okay, well, that one missed. Great. All right, well, let's keep trying to hit Granny while she's down. There we go. That's some more damage. Not bad. She's literally down. I wonder why. Um... Okay. Okay, let's try to jump right next to Granny with uh, Lazel and then see if we can strike her. Oh, but we're in the fire. That's fine. Hopefully, it's worth it. So, let's do a main attack. Nice! Oh, and she has action surge. So, we can go for another attack. Come on. Keep at it. There we go. We're just going to beat Granny senseless. <laughs> Okay, not bad, but oh, but she has goonies as well. We're gonna have to be careful of, so. Oh, she's getting up, whoops. Oh no. Oh. What happened? Oh, what? She went in the wall. Or she broke, oh, cause she broke it, it looks bye like. Bye. Or, wait, what, bye bye? She's I leaving? Huh? No, don't leave. Come back. Um, what do we do? How do? I guess we chase her down. Can I dash now? Oh, we can dash. You know what? Let's let's go. Oh, not enough movement. Maybe I could have moved more. I just m misused my dash. I'm not entirely sure. Let's use dash as well. And w the whole point, I guess, is just to dash out of here uh, and chase her down. So we can enter here. Let's go ahead and run. <laughs> Oh god. Alright, let's also dash with Shadow Heart. Hopefully you don't get an opportunity to strike. Okay, phew, we're good. Oh, I can't go any further. No, I can't. Okay, well then let's let's heal at least. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can jump in here. Can we? Use. There we go. Nice! Alright, so Oh! We escaped! Oh, but it's only her. Crap. Okay, well, we need to get the rest of the gang with us. So, let's see if we can do that. So, oh, there we go. Okay, nice. Another one has escaped. Okay, we, we, we got to do this with all of them. Hopefully, Shadowheart can escape. All right, Link has escaped. Now, all that's left is Shadowheart. All right, this is my chance. I can escape. Let's go. Oh, God. Okay, Shadowheart, get out of there. 
All right, there we go. So everyone has escaped, and I guess they're not gonna chase us. Sweet. I, I doubt that's how you were supposed to do it, but it worked, and I'm happy. Uh, let's go ahead and now heal up by taking a quick short rest. All right, not bad. The gang is here. <laughs> Yeah, really weird way of dealing with the battle, running away from it. But our focus is the hag, not uh, the swarm of other enemies, right? So I I'll take it. To me, that was really cool, actually, like trying to dash away and everything. I like that we could do that. And I feel like we wouldn't have been able to face them up front, especially since we start splitting off. But okay, I guess let's face the hag now. Let me actually save because uh, I don't want to repeat that again. All right, we're all grouped, and let's see where this hag went. What exactly can we do now? So, let's chase her down, and oh! You are as thick as they come, sweetness. This is my personal playhouse, and you don't have an invite. Get out! Huh, it's interesting that we can maybe just call it truths and, and leave. I kind of want to do that, because I'm regretting getting this far i mean it doesn't look like it's gonna be easy uh but let's say or what oh the cocky ones are my favorite to chew on keep going petal and you'll find out <laughs> oh and she just left what where'd she go okay so it looks like we have an option place? to turn back this is the gallery this does not look like a nice gallery whoa someone holding their decapitated head okay uh what's this what's that yeah what is that my sweet gallery whose beloved ass at his at a... beauty never fade huh okay that's weird is it like the skull is seeing an illusion of something whoa okay what's going on here what is this this poor dear wish never to lay eyes on her family again oh she pulled out her eyeballs yeah literally blinded elf oh god okay what happened to this guy family portrait my dearest efren he begged me to hold the deadly disease that ravaged him huh Okay, well, I can't loot him if he's petrified. <laughs> I don't know why that's the first thing that came to mind. I'm like, oh, I should loot him. What about this? Okay, no thanks. No thanks. <laughs> don't want to mess with the hag stew. But uh, whoa, what's going on here? Um, are you all right? No, no, don't look. Mustn't look. Mustn't see. Uh, are you literally? Are you all right? I see it. What's to come? Me, dead. Dead! Flesh rotten, bone shining! Okay, um... Hey, look at me. No! No! Can't stop! Can't! Gods, don't hurt me! Oh, please! Please! Please, please, please! Okay, clearly he's not seeing things clearly. Um, you're safe. No! No! Monster! You're not hearing things clearly. Oh, mind dripping! Flesh peeling! Mind flayer! Uh, okay. Look at me, I'm not a mind flayer. No! No! Mind flayer! Get away! Get away! Okay. Stop. No intention of letting Please. that happen. Uh, Please. Whoa. What happened? Oh. Oh. You feel crushing waves huh? of fear as the presence I guess within she the door recoils. Closest to it? What happened? Can't let people through. Not again. Okay. Uh, why can't you let people through door? Images flash. A man cowering, a bag open at his feet. Gold coins spilling onto the floor. His cries for mercy are cut short as the hag slices into him. Dismembering him painstakingly, limb by limb. She cackles. The man's remaining flesh, twisted and contorted, becoming the twisted surface of the door before you. Oh, okay. Flee, you feel it cry. 
I'm not afraid of that hag. Soon Actually, I am. in your mind. Two paladins and a cleric oh. marching through Wait, the what? door. Wait, Isn't that... Shrouded in the glow of the divine. Weapons Edwin's brandished, they charge into sister? the hag's lair. Screams of terror pierce the air. Oh. You let them in? Naughty. That's a decade for each. You're mine for 30 more years, Petal. Okay, um, is there another way in? You see an image of blue skies and sunshine as the door shudders a warning. Run. Its form flickers, and you realize that the door is transparent. Oh, so I can just walk right through. Um, if I kill the hag, you'll be free, though. Let's, let's try to convince them. Oh, well... We're probably not going to convince them. <laughs> Can I maybe roll again since I rested? No? Okay. Fear rushes through you as the door shakes. Remembering the hag's smile, it remains firmly closed as the presence huddles within. Okay. So yeah, it looks like uh, Lazel interacted with the door because she was standing Stop. next to it, I guess. Please. So wait, can we literally just Please. enter it? Oh, oh, we can. Um, Wait. Wait. what is a studded shield? Can I pick a this up? thief who tried to steal from Auntie. Don't. Now the no. cook guard Don't. my home. Um, I mean, who are you to say anything? Ooh, Stop. that's a cool looking mask. Oh, there's a bunch of them though. The whispering masks. Let's pick them up. It looks like everyone can wear one. So what if we put it on? Okay, you know what? I feel like maybe we should put it on. Let's see what happens. Hello, Petal. My, my. The mask suits you. Just relax. See the world with fresh eyes. And let your dear old Auntie Ethel look after you. Okay. So... Do we see things differently? Oh, we do. I guess specifically Don't with this door. Look. Don't. Uh, did anything else change? Or is it just that? I guess, you know, if we didn't know we can enter it, now we can't. Oh, God. Stench of rot is a slap to the face. Suddenly she is there. Beside you. Behind you. Inside you. Yes. I have you now, Petal. Don't worry. Auntie is going to take good care of you. What has come over you? The mask. Take it off, right now! Oh god. I'm evil? Oh no! What? I have to face myself? This is not good. Okay, well, I Sounds guess here like we go. Fun. Let's Stop. bite my side. I mean, this won't be the first time uh, the story on bites Link. <laughs> okay. Uh oh, okay, it's Link's turn. Okay, nice. He missed. And he missed again. Good thing I'm useless. <laughs> this will make the battle easy. But am I gonna kill myself? No! Okay. I shouldn't do melee attacks with her. Um, Alright. Lazel, I guess it's your time. Uh, let's jump. Okay, there we go. And then, attack it! Oh, we missed. Okay, well, I guess let's use action surge. And then attack! Again, miss? Are you kidding me? Um, we'll do another melee attack. Oh man, I can't believe I'm killing myself. Is there... Eventually, am I gonna stop? Like... I should have... Why did I put on the mask? That was a, such a stupid idea. Oh man, okay. This is your turn length. It's... This is so weird. Oh. Oh god. Okay, that's so weird. It's almost like it wants me to control as him. 
All right, I guess. Sorry, I gotta shoot myself with fire. And never mind. I, I forgot. I shouldn't do that with her. Should I heal myself? Is that a bad thing? I mean, this is so confusing. Okay. Come on, humble strike. Okay. Just keep attacking. All right, we're almost there. Come on. Oh, okay, everyone's blind. Oh, everyone's blind. That's probably why our attacks aren't landing. All right, Shadowheart, can you land it? Oh, yeah, you won't. Okay. <gasps> He's dead. Okay, now what? Do we lose? Okay, wait, wait. Help. Am I going to have to battle myself again? Okay, wait, character sheet. Oh, okay, it's off of- No! No! I should have taken- I should have taken it off him. I thought he was fine. Alright, it didn't seem like I could take off the mask. Like, it's literally stuck on him. Unequip. Oh, wait, there we go! Oh! Oh, I could take it off. I just had to hit unequip. There we go. Alright, let's, um... Don't Let's save Link look. now. Help. Don't. Hopefully he'll be normal. <gasps> the boy's we're back. We're back. Stop. Okay. Please. Please. Sweet. Oh, okay. I thought I couldn't take it off him. I kept trying, but no, we can. Okay. Awesome. That was terrifying. Like, I, you know what? I'm done. Don't. Like, I don't think I could do much else. Don't. Like, Holy crap, that was insane. Um, I'm never putting on that mask again. Like, yeah, the hag straight up got, I mean, literally, I just wasted so much time just constantly attacking Link again and again, thinking something would happen. Like, I don't know what I was doing. Man, I'll be honest, I need a break after that. I mean, Link does as well. He got beat up pretty badly there, but, um, oh shoot, I just remembered. There were enemies chasing us here earlier. Are they still there? Oh no! The hag switched the forest and, and made it dark and gloomy and all grayed out. It's no longer the beautiful lush green forest. <laughs> it's not vibrant as it once was. I mean, I ruined everything by deciding to engage with the hag. I, I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, so wait, can we leave? Or are there enemies around? Oh no, there are enemies. Oh god. Um... Will they notice us? Okay, well, he, let's check. I mean, either way, can we teleport out? Yeah, we could fast travel still. So it looks like we don't want to be in the Riverside Tea House anymore. That's great. Um, I guess we'll just head back to camp. I don't know. I want to say I kind of need a break after that. I mean, holy crap, that was terrifying. I, I literally thought I, I actually screwed up. I mean, I could have maybe loaded back a save, but no, I want to stick to my decisions and damn, that was insane. I, I don't think um, we want to go back there yet. We'll see. Uh, I mean, either way, all of those enemies seemed way stronger than our current level. So I don't know. I think maybe, yeah, we should just uh, look elsewhere. Anyways, I think I may end off things here because, uh, yeah, that was intense. It may have been a shorter one, but definitely not a uneventful one. Like, yeah, I wasn't expecting what happened to happen. So I think maybe it'd be a good uh, area to end things off. Maybe I can get some of your guys' tips. Should I, you know, continue with the hag? I probably should leave her. I think I'm not really ready for her. Um, I'm definitely getting more used to the combat, especially with dashing and being able to escape enemies and uh, just generally utilizing everything, but I still might be missing some stuff. Overall, I do feel like I've learned a lot uh, from this video after playing a bit, but still, there's a lot to learn. I mean, <laughs> I was foolish for putting on that mask. Like, wow, that is so cool, though. I love all these different choices, and man, this game is truly insane. Like, I did not think I would just lose my main character, and I took him for granted, like, Thank God I was able to take off the mask, though. So there was a, you know, grace period there. I, I didn't actually, like, become completely mind-controlled by the hag. But, damn, yeah. Um, I think, yeah, we might as well end things off here. Anyways, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Please let me know what you'd like to see me do next. I'll definitely read the comments. And if you have any more tips that I may, um, you know, 
find helpful and I uh, could use, I would really appreciate it. So yeah, anyways, again, thanks for watching. Leave a like on the video if you want to see more. As always, I've been ZM and I'll see you in the next one.